welcome, welcome, Romy and this, you know, all about Epic Jones and this is on behalf of both UK Hype Charts, World Map yeah. and mm -hmm. um, Maritime Radio. Yeah. This could be broadcast on quite a lot of other platforms as well and websites. First mm -hmm. and foremost, how has the year been for you thus far? Um, you know, it's, 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 it's a year with mixed feelings, to be honest with you. Um, I, I still look at this as a blessed year because I'm, I'm alive, I'm well, you know, um, I'm giving thanks for help, you know, and, and the opportunity to, to even have this conversation with you at this time, you know. So you know, it's a blessed year, it's a tough year at, at the end of the day too, you know, but we're just trying to keep our heads above water and just, you know, survive, you know, you know, we have life, so we just need to live and, and, and just enjoy every moment of it. So I've seen, um, contribution such as Stronger, that was yes. done for Kabaka Pyramid, his first Dublin production, One Last yes. Try for Penthouse, Prey mm -hmm. featuring Busy, um, yes. um, If You Know for Pop Style, which was uh, um, a throwback of Better Must Come, there I was. Better Must Come with him, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Um, also, I've seen you yourself doubling into productions now with uh, <laughs> contributions yeah. such as the ballad, you know, I hear the ballad Best of Me, which also yeah. is a, you know, a, a very, 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 very great type of yeah. contribution to me and very different from what yeah, you, yeah. you normally release. So how, how, how has, I mean, how has some of those projects been? I mean, I know some of them, as I said, are not, you know, with the likes of Kabaka Pyramid, people trying their hand at different yeah. things. Some of them are, are established production houses like Pentos. How has it been mm -hmm. working on those projects as well as doubling into production for yourself? Um, wonderful as always. Uh, Kabaka, for example, is somebody that you know I really and truly respect as a, as a person. First of all, I respect him as a, as a musician, as an artist, and you know getting the opportunity to to be in the same space with him and see how his production level and production skills are is just amazing to see. Somebody who who, who knows what he wants, he understands music to a level he understands his artists that he wants to voice to a level and the reason he probably wants them on whichever rhythm he's putting out, you know, and, and that is something I really and truly, you know, grow to, to, to appreciate even more about him when I, when, I, when I get to learn that, you know, so, you know, creating in the studio with him was, was a great experience, you know, and it is something that I'm looking forward to do more with him, you know, because he's outside of being the, 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 the great artist and the great performer that, that he is, I, I honestly believe that he's, he's, a, he's a great producer. He has a bright future in terms of the, the, you know, production. And, and that is something that I'm really and truly looking forward to. Yeah. Um, yeah. Donovan Jermaine from Pentos, you know, that is like my father, you yes. know? As yeah. somebody who, who has been there from day one, you know, the, the person who I found my first, you know, we could call it, you know, major hit in Jamaica, which was Can't Sleep. And and we've been doing works over the years. So there's there's so much that I've learned from him. And it is always just a different vibe whenever we get inside the studio, whenever we get into you know creating a, and, and recording. Yeah. He's somebody yeah. that don't want, you know, you know, there are other producers out there who would send me a rhythm and I will just vice it here at studio with Nico. Yeah. But Donovan Germany is somebody that that loves his production so much that he wants you to come inside the studio, come record, you know. So you know, myself and Nico, you know, we're going to the studio and Nico gets to even see more of his, of, of, of Jeremy's work inside the studio and how he works yes. as a producer. He's somebody who, after a while, after you see that you're, you're gaining enough you know, experience, he will give you the floor to, you know, you know, express yourself yes. more, but, yes. at, but he's there in the background to guide you at the end of the day. He's somebody who has seen, who has grown to see nowadays, nowadays um, giving other producers an opportunity to say something in the studio, you know, to voice their opinion and, and, and to try new ideas in the studio. And that is something I really and truly appreciate about him. He's not holding on to his style from, you know, yes, back in the yes. days and say, yo, this is all you do things. He's trying to, to bring the younger folks into, you know, understand understanding how you used to do it, yes, but also learning from them to and, and where everything is at at the moment, you know? And which other songs you, song you mentioned? Uh, I mentioned yeah. Prayer featuring Busy. The, the, the yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. was Kirkland, yeah. 
Girl, have somebody who has been producing songs with me over the years. I think we have probably three or four in you know, a productions from Kirkudov and, and that was on Pentel. He's somebody that is, is a, is a, is a, is a genius as what, at what he does. He, you know, everybody would know him as a drummer, but he's a, he's a producer in, in his own right. He's somebody yeah. that understands the music, understands sounds. And he was just a great guy to be in the studio recording for him and, and, and producing a song like Pray. He's somebody that gives me the opportunity to just express myself as well. And the moment he heard that song, he loved it. He believed that, hey, if we get busy signal on this song, it will definitely work. But this song was way before the pandemic. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, man, this song was probably two years before the pandemic, you know? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, Busy Signal, I think, did his, did, did his part a couple months after, you know, because he was busy on the road um, doing his thing. But, you know, when, he, when, 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 when he realized that he was releasing the song during the, in, the, in the pandemic, it, you know, he, he, Busy Signal went back inside the studio and just, you know, put the time that we're living in in the song too, and and it just worked perfectly. And it shows you that if you believe in what you do, if you if you are patient enough to 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 hold on to a song and put in all the work that is necessary, then a time like a a pandemic can happen, and you just need to change a few words to make it even more yes. meaningful. And and that's what happened with a song like Pray. Um, on the track with. With um you know, better the the, the not back yeah, better must come from pop style yeah. from pop style yeah you know you know Julian him linked me and me say you know you know with the long overdue somebody that I always want to work with because I believe he's a brilliant you know producer but even you know in a person in general you know you know wonderful yeah. human being somebody that I feel like is necessary in 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 our industry you know to to help us to even understand. How to do business, you know. I, I rate him as a, you know, even more as a businessman. He's somebody that we see work with so many of our favorite dance artists over the years, you know, and and you yeah, know, yeah, help them to reach yeah, some. Yeah, man, help to, to get them moving, and and I appreciate when people can 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 do, do you know come in and, and do great things like that, you know. So he's somebody I always wanted to work with. So when I when he called me and told me that yeah yeah that really man want me to. The vibes up, man. It trust me. It was right off the bat wanting to wanting to do the, the, the whole thing, and I'm happy how the song turned out. You know, I, I feel like it's a it's a it's a wonderful song, you know. And you know, just nice. wish we were on the road to really and truly push this song. So you know, some of the some of the songs are gonna take a little bit more when it comes down to social media and 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 the whole back of the pandemic. We can't go go out there to perform these songs and stage in front of large crowds and you know just yeah. getting their reaction from it. But so far, I feel like all oh, those songs are beautiful songs, songs that I'm proud of, and you know, you know, leads me rise up to, as I mentioned, beautiful to me, which is one of my own production. You know, my yeah. very first, you know, official production, which is such a beautiful song, man. I'm, I'm so grateful. I wrote this song for my wife about two years ago, and we introduced it on my social media page, which is. You know, um, the you know, well, oh, I should say, oh, which is our YouTube channel, the Virgos, and when we when we we we, we introduced it to them, everybody that was a part of the Virgo, the um, the Virgo Nation was saying that, yo, you should go ahead and record this song. It's a beautiful song. They were so excited about it, yes. and we did just that. We brought them on the journey. We, we 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 opened the doors for them to just you know come inside the studio, see what we do. When it comes to, 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 to creating the song from scratch to finish, and it turned out to be one of the most beautiful songs right now. It's a ballad, as you mentioned, but it 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 yeah, it, it, it works. People really seem to be loving it. It, it, it. It's a beautiful song. I mean, even the title, you know. Actually, yeah, you know, I, I know you say you know the title is beautiful to me, but I mean it's beautiful to the whole world. I mean, yeah. in terms of the contribution and, and how it was delivered. Yeah, and, and, and it's a reason why I also asked, you know, um, how has that differed from, obviously, you know, working with producers, it's about sometimes the direction they want to take a project. And, mm -hmm. you know, Romian finally gets a chance to do something that he wants to do. And you've done this song, which obviously mm -hmm. is... Very different from, from what you have been. And that's why I mentioned the previous projects that you have worked on. And yes. I mean, there's a few that I've left out because you've done quite a lot of recordings. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, uh, true. I've been really recently. 
But this, mm -hmm. this, this is different. How was the creative process in terms of, no, I'm going to put out something yeah. for me and the creative. This is what I yeah. want to do. This is how I want it to sound. How was it a bit different from being guided in the studio mm -hmm. for, for someone else's project? How was this different creative? Yeah, um, I mean, when it comes down to production and anything that I have to do with, um, that has to do with music, I should say, it, it's hard to, to, to mention, I, 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 I do this, I, I do that. <laughs> it's hard because that is impossible because I cannot, I cannot create the rhythm. I can, you know, well, I could try, but it wouldn't sound as good as it, as it is. Yeah, no. yeah, 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 you yeah, know, yeah. I, I can't, I can't do the work, I can't mix. I'm not at that point, you know, um, you know, even as a produ as the producer, I feel like, you know, I still needed guidance. So I had ideas, this is how I wanted it to go. This is, these are some of the things that I wanted it to have, you know, in terms of the card progression, I had that worked out and I had so many other things that I was thinking about that, hey, we could do this here and we could do that here. But without the help of everybody that, that, that was there to guide me, I, I, I always have to mention Nika Brownie, you know, which is, you know, somebody that is always there. Whenever I see a production come out, just know that he has something to do with it. You know, so, Riff, yeah. yeah man, Riff, who is, who is such a wonderful, you know, um, musician overall in general, producer himself too. He was somebody that was there in terms of the, you know, the guidance and, and to make the thing a, a bit more refined, you know, you know and, 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 you know, just bringing in his own ideas too. And, you know, so it's, I feel like it's a, it's, it's a, it's a combination of everybody coming together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a collaborative effort, even though at the end of the day, everybody was saying, well, because, You've contributed so much. We, you know, you would be the producer of this song because you know there's so much, you know, in terms of the whole Elements production from scratch. Yeah, exactly. You know, so even though I'm like, hey, yeah, first song product, first production, you know, beautiful song, you know, like I, 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 yeah, I've been saying I don't want you know, I'm a producer bringing them out. I feel like we're like, yo, <laughs> I'm gonna start to produce himself. No, we can't produce him again. I don't want them to feel that way because the truth is I I I won't even you know you know take it on that serious this earlier in, in my career. I will do collaborative efforts with artists, I will you know co-produce or whatever they want to call it, but I won't take on this whole thing to say um I'm a producer yeah, now be, and, and I want to produce yeah, yeah, people yeah. because it takes way more than what a man might think. In our production is um, a man can just send a man a rhythm and invite on it and you get somebody mix it and he say yeah me produce it but I personally feel like it is more than that you know yeah man it's more than that you have to have um, it's way more than that yeah man it, I mean it, it it has been a conversation for some time now you know what 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 takes place because you get a, a, a few of those that used to be in a collaborative session where musicians mm -hmm. used to be hired and used to be a creative thing where you want the overall sound and yes. the mixing element and there would be hands-on approach in terms of how you get the final. A whole, a whole lot of it, man, trust me. And a then, whole yeah, lot. I mean, it, it's moved where one man can sit down and that's yeah, yeah, yeah. computer <laughs> and, and process all the different mm. sounds without mm. musicians, get the beat yeah. sent to somebody virtually, that person records, mm. send back that session and a project yeah. is out there, but there's still there's still more to it because one of the hardest thing I think there's there's a lot mm. of good music and yeah. one of the hardest elements is when that song is finished, the finished article is mixed and mastered and yeah, you get man. it in front of as much ears as possible and be mm -hmm. able to influence people that that you know this is the song that's supposed to connect because there's yes. been a lot of people I know have been withholding good music because. There's no means of promoting it in their normal channels like performances. Yes, Which leads yes. me to the next question. I mean, last performance I have seen was doing the champs with yeah. yourself. <laughs> Look so, at that. Yeah, luckily, luckily we were able to to, to stream um stream that internationally. Um, Curtis, yeah. I forget what the name of the platform is, but we, you know the the, the Jamaica yeah, last Yeah, it's the boys, boys and girls boys and girls championship. Yeah, yeah, I know, I, I know, I know. It was the boys and girls championship. I can't remember yeah. the name of the platform that was providing the oh, broadcast. Oh, that, that was providing the broadcast. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Jamaican diaspora was able to see it. And I mean, mm. yeah, when we saw that performance, it was like, wow, 
Yeah, man. Michelle Van Chris, it's yeah. The only way we're gonna get to see Romina. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That that to be honest was probably the last public, and and you know I mean there was no crowd there really and truly either, so it was still a virtual kind of vibe. But yeah, in terms of in terms of shows and thing, man, is, is 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 you know over the past two years, you know it had to you know we, we had to resort to to doing a lot of virtual shows, which. You know, it's it's something that we, we can do. You know, but it, without the crowd, there there's there's something that is missing. So, yes. I, I'm somebody who will go and sit and I will give 150 percent of my energy and I will perform like a big crowd is in front of me, whenever whenever I see the camera. But um, at the end of the day, we know that there's something missing. There's a connection that that we normally feel whenever the crowd is right there in front of us. That's right. And yes. There's a certain, there's a different kind of appreciation with the crowd, you know, when, you know, yes. it's like, it's like when, when they say yes in front of you there and you see all of that, then it's like, you feel like you, 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 you stamp your ground, you, 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 you do what you're supposed to do and you, you know that they're feeling it for sure. But I'm on, 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 because he rate Romain, but we like to <laughs> Romain performance to really up there, you know. But him just say, yo, let me give him some planes. But when you're there, and a man really and truly now feel it, and you see him in a crowd, and whether, whether him just stand up and now, because at the end of the day, you can have some people who feel assured and just want to watch it and now, but you can feel the energy from a crowd when they're really and truly feeling, whether they're oh, waving yeah, or they're just there, just taking in the show like this, you know, so. We missed and that. I think your absenteeism even creates. I mean, there was a show, Conscience in Kenya, the mm -hmm. two five shows, you know. And yeah. when he played the collab that you and him did, we, we no we, we no worry, yeah, we no worry. I mean, I think he pulled it up about four times, <laughs> and yeah, the crowd sang all a year apart. Oh word gosh, word. Yeah, you understand? I think he, you know, he he, he kept on. You know, giving you a big, big up and a mention. Right, I think he, yeah. he also posted it with, with, with quite a caption as well. To say, well, yeah, I, mean, I, I remember, I remember yeah. yeah, man, I remember, I remember seeing it on him page, man. Is like that was the last time he went back to Kenya, which was yeah. a, a brilliant show. I feel like you know the African community really and truly embraced you know Jamaican culture so much, you know, and we never knew that a song like "Worry No Worry" would would become such a big song, you know, you know, especially in Africa and Europe, you know. Um, so, so to see the, the kind of love that they show every time, that a song that was done probably back in 2015, you know, you know, or 14. Yes, yeah, still have that kind of impact in 2020 or 2019, 2020, 2021. It, it shows you that, you know, it, 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 it makes sense to just make good music. Whenever you're, you're creating, just make some, some real good music, you know, one that you know that, hey, this might not be the song that will blow up tomorrow, but over time it will grow and people continue to grow on people and 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 will, you know, like be there for, for, for a long while. I mean, when you talk about and I love I love when I get to speak to um artists that that, that predominantly do a lot of reggae music, but Mm -hmm. have songs playing in the dance hall. And when I mean dance hall, I mean the real elements of booking a hall itself. Yeah. And yeah. with four walls and converting it into a dance. Whether mm -hmm. whether that's whether that's that, that that's in New York or whether that's in London, Birmingham, Manchester, I mean the real hardcore elements of the sound system string up and play. And I mean mm -hmm. you <laughs> For elementary, there's been so many conversations and debates about um, the, the space for reggae in, in these so-called events. I mean, you mm -hmm. have some songs, <laughs> the, the same color with conscience, worry, and fade away with assassin. Assassin, yeah. I, yeah. Mean, I mean, a lot, I'm talking about quite a lot of songs and, and that play and act, not just play, but actually have impact where people get selected, just draw, draw down the volume fader and people yeah. are able to sing. You understand? Sing out, so, yeah. Yeah. And, and you talk about the same element of connecting with the people. I mean, dance hall is one of them places there where 
when a song oh, really man. connect and it connect where people call the four corner forward, each part yes. of the dance. You know, have worry about it again, man. Exactly. That is one oh, element. And then, you know, promoters go to these dances and these are the things that they listen for just as much as they will listen to the radio mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. take advice on the most part. And when they hear those things, this is what gives them the confidence to then make a phone call to then put together a stage show or develop yes. ideas to, to put together a concert or a festival. So mm -hmm. it's it, it very much important. I mean, a lot, of, as I said, a lot of the songs that you have recorded play in mm -hmm. the dance, dance hall. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's nice. an element where you've been able to, in a hybrid way, record songs that are authentic and stay true to reggae music. Um, mm -hmm. values, but at the same time have the impact of dance where it was always there with the sound system. The regular yeah. card you play, the man flip it on the instrumental delay and the MC or whoever was toasting over the, the instrumental now would come and build them lyrics in which you get the creative um, elements then developing yeah. in the dance hall. So as a singer, you're able to, to, to merge the two together and still able, and, and with the collabs with the DJs as well, I think yeah. they still stay true, true to the roots of where dancehall was created at the same time where reggae is. And it's very mm -hmm. good that you're still able to do that. No, I don't know, maybe it was even an intentional thing by you, but it is something yeah. that many times when I discuss with some and them, that is the one element that they, they, they really love about your career and your yeah. contribution as an artist. Yeah. Um, uh yeah, I feel like you know, you know, in, in doing that, you know, is, is a is a is a thing where me and my team always are talking about myself and Nico. You know, like we have to constantly remind ourselves ourselves of who we are at the end of the day. Or, or if you're gonna put it in my case, we have to constantly remind me of who, who I am at the end of the day and yes. what I represent. You know, I never want to come up like the artist who we just do anything, you know, just we steer. A float or if you stay, you know, in the eyes of the, of the, of the world, you know, I always want to, you know, you know, you know, tread my lane, you know, and 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 stay and and try to outdo myself within my lane too, you know. And so whenever I get the opportunity to record a song with another artist, you know, I always try to make sure say we are on the same page in terms of them understanding what I stand for, me understanding what they stand for, so that the music. Together, you know, it, it can balance out, you know. So, yeah, you know, it's 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 a deliberate thing, you know, and it is something that I feel happy about about at the end of the day too. Whenever we get the opportunity to do it, you know, so you know, give thanks to all the artists who who can have the understanding and and are willing to work with it to make, you know, you know, music, you know, just 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 be good and be great and 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 work out from both ends as well. Okay then, and. Uh... This um before I go into a little scenario that I, I asked you, uh, since I got some small questions, just yeah. the last element of how how has promoting of um the projects that you have been releasing recently, how have you had to um adapt your promotion of, of singles without the element of you know basically cementing it with performances in front of people touring per se mm -hmm. and how has that adaptation process taken place during that time for you have you learned anything from it are you improving where mm -hmm. when everything reopens you have two elements that you can bring together to make even you know greater promotions yeah um as a, as a team I, um, we always believe that you know going out there and performing is is one of my strengths you know, um, I, I even tell myself sometimes, I feel like I perform the song better than I record in the studio. You know, and you know, nowadays I feel like I'm trying to put out a, 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 some, some more effort in terms of recording. But when it, when it comes down to pro promoting nowadays, you know, you know, especially with everything that is happening around the world, I feel like social media is really and truly, you know, the only avenue that, that, is, that is there you know, to our advantage, you know. Um, I, so so we, we've been pushing from the social media point of view, something that, that I had to, 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 to be a little bit more open with, you know, through social media is, you know, getting my fans to understand 
my personality some more, you know, because it was Romain, the brother who not do much interviews. I do interviews, you know, but I don't, I'm not the, the, the kind who will. I understand you know, what you say. Just, yeah, we, we they and I talk, 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 talk right through. So I have to build some confidence in that side of me first. Let people, allow people to see that Romain is more than just the person who you might think going to see the recording song, put out the song, will like it, him come and perform and he gone back in the yard. You know, me have to open, you know, just open a little bit more, you know, and show people that, hey, I'm a real human being and this is all mistake. This is how, you know, you know, Look, me have fun too. It's yeah, not just yeah, me have, <laughs> yeah, this is me. Like, me, 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 me have some fun too. And, and, and you know, you know, just, this is my, my life, you know, this is what I do. You know, I can't show everything at the end of the day, but yeah, even yeah, through, yeah, yeah. Even, even some through, elements. Right? Yeah, even, even through my YouTube channel, just try trying to show people that, hey, things only got you, we got you too. I feel like people appreciate that side, you know, and in, in using that that kind of you know, that kind of platform, this new me, you know, trying to open a little bit more to, to the people, I feel like the interest that, that people find in that kind of bring them closer to the music now, you know, because, yes. you know, whoa, I'm getting to understand Romain on a different level now. And the music kind of, you know, even, you know, you know, it, it means way much more to them now that, you know, now that they're understanding me on that level too, you know. So, um, you know, when it comes down to, you know, social media, you know, we're, you know, we, you know, we're trying to, as I say, you know, just just getting people to understand us so much more, understand the person behind the music, you know, and I feel like it is opening so much doors for people to to zoom in a bit more and 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 wanting not just to see what is happening in my life, but to understand how we create more and and wanting more music, like when when the next song will come out, you know, and and that's a great thing, you know. We we just have to do what we can do now until, you know. That uh, our yeah, strong yeah. point, you know, the performance part of things can come back and we can go out there and we can bring a song or we can bring an album um on on tour and in front of the big stages and so people can see us live and 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 I guess both worlds, as I say, both worlds now yeah, we, we just yeah. merge together and, and make things even even bigger and better. Even better. Which yeah, brings me to the next. This is a scenario now. Mm -hmm. might, it might give people an insight a bit more into, you know, Romy and Perko, the artist and the person. Mm -hmm. um, so, scenario, locked away. Um, and when I mean locked away, you're isolated on, a, a, say, a private island. Um, yeah. <laughs> seven days, you have nothing, nothing else but ingredients only to cook your favorite meal. That, yeah. that, that is the only thing you can eat for the seven days. What meal yeah. would it be? Cheese and peas. You know, say, Mr. Manre, it, it, it sounds it all sound cliche to every Jamaican out there, but you know, some that our national dish are my favorite thing. All right. I, I can't, I can't <laughs> yeah, sandwich, you know. Yeah, man. So if we can get that with, with, with some boiled dumpling and some yam or whatever it is, if yeah. I have a bread, you yeah, give me with that. Believe me, brother. Okay. So I'm probably, and we could have planned one tree in nice seven days and it grew and it does have beer accurate right through. <laughs> <laughs> and now, for, for those so, same seven days, if you're yeah. only able to contact one person, who would that person be? Yeah, you know. Um, I mean, After I know the seven days, you know, you can't go back to normal, you know, but for those seven days oh. where you only have one phone call, one contact that yeah. you can call, yeah. who would it be? Well, well, no, we don't mean life set, you know, definitely my wife, you know, um, because, you know, it's like almost like more than once had a baby, then we don't want to contact. But we know from the contact her, I'll get you to them too, you know, so. Same way, so, yeah. Yeah, but, 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 but at them, you know, family, like, you know. Family, you know, yeah. Yeah, man. Them, like, my wife, we don't make sure I say, reach out to her, you know, if, when, if I share the only person, yeah, man, come I mean, see the baby, the man get for year, I at least hear them in the background. <laughs> I, 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 this this one's gonna be a difficult one. So you only have one song you can listen for the seven days that will kind of keep your spirits up. Which song would that be? Not my song, right? Well, it can be. It can be whatever is gonna keep your spirits up, or or you know, yeah. keep you be able to listen to for over the seven days, and it, it wouldn't you know it wouldn't be an issue. A song you wouldn't tire of. Mm -mm. 
Uy, sangre mi clase no man. Three seven days. Yeah, just listen. I mean, anytime you feel like listening to some music, that's the only song you have. You understand? So, yeah. maybe, you know, I feel play the song 24 hours a day. You know? It's just whenever you feel like, say, all right, but do enough during the day. I mean, eat ackee and selfish already. My car wife already. Want to listen to the song. That's all right. Yeah. 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 Yo, yo, I, I, you know, say, you didn't know, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's a tough question, you know? Can <laughs> we have so much favorite song of each other? One for seven days. I guess you just, but yeah, but even though me have all of them songs, they like, we still don't want, even though some of them are my favorite ones, more than ones, do them seven, seven days straight. Mm. Which song would feel like? Yo, you know, you know which song we could have said, but I choose that song and I release it, you know? All right, say what we do. We'll put that one on the panel of pause and you just say a song both will come out and when yes. you drop, you're going to know which oh, one may I yeah, So the next single way you see me drop, I don't want yeah. Please, right, I'm right, where me, me, me get That's... up four o'clock in the morning. I listen to the demo. Me get up um one o'clock. Me get up three o'clock. Me get up twelve midday. And the song just you know, cannot get boring. Nobody got to listen. I want to hear the song. No. Yeah. No, so, believe me. Believe me. <laughs> yeah. The next single, when you get when you get it, you you also remind me so earlier talk about. All right, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And, yeah, man. And... Last one now, if there was, and this now have nothing to do with the island though, but this is very, if there was no issues regarding clearance, which song would you definitely want to sample or do a rendition of if there was no issues regarding clearance? And it doesn't have to be sung, you can't even say artists. Which artist would you definitely you know, if you you being able to put across an album and someone say, listen, any song you want to do, no problem with clearances. Any artist, which which oh. artist you definitely feel like you, they, they got a song that you would possibly. This is the yeah. giving to Romeo product producer at, at right now. Yeah, true. I feel like I, I feel like I wouldn't have clearance problem or issues with, you know, Jamaican artists. So I don't think about international artists now. And that would be my old school. That would be weird, you know, people would find it strange or weird. But an artist that I grew up listening to, you know, and somebody, artist that, that you know, kind of bring out that, that soulful vibe, you know what I mean, from, from day one, the artist named Percy Sledge. When I'm like, yes, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Like, I feel like his kind of music is something where if we never have no More problem. Chances. Trust me, yeah, man. You can he, hear a remote voice. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He's somebody that we couldn't believe that the age of 12, 13, and them man has me listening. Like, when we understand about them thing there, but it's just <laughs> something we come with with him sound that when me had, when me had, when me had perform a high school in a JCDC festival and all of them thing there, a person let me, me sing. You know, when we go in the Rising Stars, a song that person that sang me sing, you know, so. You know, there's a different love when it comes down to his kind of music and, and all the other artists that, that would be in that genre, you know, like yeah. Otis Redding and Marvin Gaye and we could have picked one of them artists there as well too, you know. But Sam Cook, the world. Sam yeah. Cook, them people like, yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right. All right, so bless you, Romeo Niago. Yeah, man, epic John, man. Respect, man. Thanks, and is there anybody you want to give a show to to, you know, the UK that might be coming across this or... Any cities that you definitely want for bless up places that you've seen before and have shown you great love and respect? Yeah, but just want to bless up everybody, man, in the UK who continue to love and, and support me over the years. You know, it's one of the places where I really and truly can come back to me. I have some family up there, you know, who really and truly want to see Zan, big up yourself, you know, um, you know, he's somebody from the community, you know, I mean, somebody who, who continue to support my career over the years, you know. Um, so if you might watch this right now, I just want him to bless up himself and know, say, yo, oh, link it so, so I'm, you know, but all of my family, them, all, of, all of my supporters, them, all of my DJ bridging them in the UK, you know, who continue to, to support me over the years, just know, say, soon forward, you know, you know, big up my, my, my bridging Christopher Ellis, you know what yes. I mean? I'm a general like that, you know what I mean? So big up and bless up. And we just, we just can't wait to drop back in the place, man. All right, then, bless up. Respect, fam, yeah. Bless up.